Hello, it's Missy Gordon, the Meta Mystic here. It's great to see you all today. This is a collective message. So welcome to your diamond reading. This is a spread that I have created. Card one is the main message. Cards two, three, and four are the guidance. And card number five is the outcome. Three of wands wanting to pop out. If you follow the advice. Woo, cards are popping today. That is the Six of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Lovers. Interesting. Some sort of strong past relationship. Maybe coming to an abrupt close is what I'm hearing. But don't, don't think about this. Because, you know, Soulmates, Six of Cups, and we're going to get right into the reading. The Six of Cups, Soulmates card, you know... And it's not always soulmates, but in this situation with the lovers and the six of cups and the ten of swords, what I'm hearing is don't even think about that. You know, we're if we believe that we are here as part of like like we choose to come here if we believe that and we have like a certain group of people that we're destined to like communicate with, I do believe that. Then if one door closes, another one's about to open probably a true soulmate so anyways if you would like to purchase one of these readings as a personal reading you can do so through my etsy shop ah oh, the cards are, are speaking today y'all knight of cups wanting to pop out see what i mean <laughs> when one door closes another one opens if you'd like to purchase one of these readings you can buy one through my etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop Slash the Metamystic. You can also get $5 off if you use code DIAMOND. I am running a holiday sale. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Five cards, everybody. Now, let's invite our angel's guidance and do our diamond ritual. We ask you for our diamonds. Our diamonds are the most important messages we need to know. We ask you for our diamonds. Our diamonds are the most valuable messages we need to know. We ask you for our diamonds. Our diamonds are the wisdom we need to be successful. And we ask you for our diamonds. Our diamonds show us the way. We ask you and we thank you, and we tune in, we receive your messages with gratitude. Let's begin. Card number one, main message, the page of pentacles. This could be that opportunity that we were talking about at the start, those cards that wanted to pop out. This could be a person or this could be some sort of a choice because the, you know, the cards that popped out at the start were the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ten of Swords. So it could also be some sort of an opportunity here, this Page of Pentacles. Something that you've been dreaming about for a long time. A choice that maybe you need to make. And this could be something that you have to, you, you may have to, with the Lovers card, you know, that wanted to show itself, so we'll take it into account. This could be something where you have to make a choice in that you leave one thing behind in order to go to another. And with the Ten of Swords, there is a finality with that. So there could be, I feel trepidation on this page of Pentacles here. But this is something new. You know, this is what you've been looking for. Whatever this is, it's, it's something you've been looking for. Something you've been learning about, maybe from afar, the Page of Pentacles. And it's about to come into closer proximity, is what I'm hearing. So let's look at the guidance. Card number two, the Ace of Swords. And you are going to be more clear about this as it approaches you. It's, it's like I'm seeing something coming into focus. And with the Ace of Swords, there's also a victory. You know, it's not just clarity and truth, just. I mean, clarity and truth, what more 
could we really want out of a situation? What, what sort of, if this is a person, what more do you want than like honest, open communication? Something you can trust, a loyal, honorable person. Or if this is an opportunity, the same thing. As well as it being a very successful, victorious situation. Truth triumphs overall. You know, clarity, genuine, authentic, clear truth. All the confusion, all the lies that you've been through, this is going to make up for that, is what I'm hearing, whatever this is here. It could be a person and an opportunity. Let's see what else comes through here. The tower. Yeah, I remember how I was saying before how, you know, there, there may be a clear choice. And interesting, a clear, with the Ace of Swords, clear choice. It's like something's on fire, man, with the tower. So something needs to go. Something is is being dismantled is what I'm hearing. Purposefully. And this could be by the universe or this could even be by your own hand. I mean, you may be the one who's causing this tower moment. The guidance here is let it happen. Let it fall. Let things change. It's for your own good is what I'm hearing. This new opportunity coming through will be nothing like what you've experienced in the past. This is something pure, genuine, honorable. And this is something that has a firm, strong foundation that even if you pushed with all your might, even on your worst day, it's not going to even rock this person It's it, if this is a person or if this is a, a situation it's not even going to begin to touch the situation. It can't be moved. It's a very solid foundational structure. I'm seeing like when a house is being built. Um, and I know like in Florida, for example, they don't have basements. But where I'm from in New England, we all have basements. And when you're seeing that foundation of the house being built, it's that concrete structure. It's, it's a foundation that cannot fall down. This is something that's going to be with you for a long time. This may be a career shift. Whatever this is, this could even be a perspective change. You may be learning some new things that are causing you to take pause and see that the things in the past, they're falling away. And there are new things that are being revealed to you that just seem a lot more authentic to you. The Five of Pentacles. Whatever this was in the past, it left you out in the cold anyways. It made you feel like you weren't being seen for who you really are. This, this is not like that. You will be seen in the light of day. See all this gold around him? With clarity. You will be appreciated for all you have to offer here. And you will be exalted in this new position, whatever this may be. And finally, the outcome, if we follow this advice, if we let the tower fall, if we move away from things that make us feel like crap, just to sum it up quickly, and we let things become clear, sometimes we don't want to look at the truth, but this is the truth. If we do that, what will happen? The high priestess. You will come into a, a comfortable position is what I'm hearing. With your intuition, with your identity, and you will feel like you can see the future ahead of you in a, in a confident way. And that's not typical high priestess, but here it is. That's what I'm seeing. You will feel like you're who you are. All right, friends, let's hop on over to our December offerings, and I'll see you next time. Take care. So if you liked this diamond reading that you just received from me, you can purchase one over on my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash the metamystic. And if you want to get $5 off your reading, you can use code diamond all the way through the end of 2022, December 31st.
the sale ends. So get it while it's hot, everybody. I would love to do a personal version for you. So heading over to my Etsy shop to get you one. All right, I've done like five accents so far. <laughs> so my new album, Wilted, will be out December 25th, 2022. I'm also releasing these music videos on my YouTube channel, so look out for those. They'll, they'll be coming out every single Wednesday up until the release on the 25th of December. Christmas Day is when Wilted comes out. Finally, I would love for you guys to watch my podcast. <laughs> Bless God, literally. Bad church joke, I'm sorry. You can listen to it on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. And of course, you can watch it here on my YouTube channel. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. And I'll see you in the new year. Oh god, we're still filming. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. I'm sorry. That was a dumb joke. <laughs> I just find it to be so weirdly funny when like it just keeps rolling and you see like what the person is doing after they stop filming and after they kind of like take the persona down. I'd be sitting here picking my nose as I showed. So much love everybody. Miss you Gordon the Man of Mystic here. I love you. See Crest out.